problem across Central Florida. The rising cost of rent is pricing some residents out of our area, but Orange County leaders could consider new measures to prevent prices from going up even more. And we want to bring in West 2's Bob Hazen joining us live in Orange County where the average cost per rental jumped 25%. Bob, it's staggering. How are leaders addressing this? Well, county commissioners are talking about it right now inside their meeting. They're talking about the idea of rent control, and there are dozens of people inside here to share their ideas as well. That includes landlords who say that they have to charge more right now and renters who say that people are being forced out of their homes and something has to be done. Now, before this meeting even got started, supporters of rent control gathered outside to call on the county commissioners to take bold action. Commissioner Emily Bonilla has called for a rental increase cap of 5% for the next 12 months and the county did pay for a study by GAI consulting that claimed there is no emergency in the rental market and that said that the problem is low housing inventory and population growth. Supporters of rent control took their message inside. So did the landlords and real estate investors. Some of them said the real solution is to encourage more construction of homes. Rent controls have been in effect in cities like L.A. and New York for decades, yet their rents and homelessness remain high. People are fleeing those places and coming to Florida in order to escape those restrictive government policies. And I am angry and I am disgusted at the faces here who are trying to save their own pockets at the cost of the residents who need the help. Now, the commission is only supposed to be talking about the rent issue and hear about the study, but Bonilla says she wants to call for a vote on putting the issue of rent control on the November ballot so voters can make up their own minds and decide how we should move forward. Again, that meeting is still going on right now, so a lot to be sorted out, and of course, we'll be following it throughout the day. Reporting live at the Orange County Administration Building, Bob Hazen, West 2 News. Thank you.